for a few months. And now, he's been cleared to compete once again. Let's listen to what Hypnosis has to say. I'm Derek Kellum, joined by with Serva. Of course, Hypnosis is gonna be very predictable, so I'm guessing he's coming out here to challenge Sheldon Mondo to a World Championship match here tonight or at Suplex City. All right, calm down, Green Bay, Wisconsin, because I have finally been cleared to compete once again here at Fight Zone Wrestling. And ladies and gentlemen, you already know what's going to happen. I'm challenging Sheldon Mondo to a World Championship match. But I want to earn a World Championship match. I don't, want, I don't just want a championship match. I want to earn it. So Sheldon Mondo, I came up with a plan. Tonight, it's gonna be me and you in a tag team match. Tag team match. I pick a partner and you pick a partner. And the winner in that match, the winner that gets the fall, gets a world championship match with you next week. I've already talked to Carter Ramirez about it and he completely agreed. Of course, he was a little disappointed that I didn't want my world championship match here tonight, but I wanna earn it. And by next week, you're gonna be looking at yourselves a new world champion Finally, here in Fight Zone Wrestling, it's going to be me, yours truly hypnosis. So Green Bay, Wisconsin, you sit back and enjoy the show, and everybody watching, the wait is finally over. Sheldon Mondo finally loses that world championship to the one and only hypnosis. So let me get this straight. Tonight, we're going to have a tag team match in the main event of Fight Zone Wrestling. And the winner of that match, the one that gets the pinfall, will be taking on Sheldon Mondo for the World Championship next week. Man, I, you can't miss it here tonight, man. But next, ladies and gentlemen, you're a fight zone wrestling. It's a special New Japan Pro Wrestling episode. We're going to see Hiroyoshi Tanzan versus EK Fear up next. And later on tonight, it's the battle of the Intercontinental Champion. The FZW Intercontinental Champion will be taking on the IWGP Intercontinental Champion, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Man, that's going to be a incredible match to see. It's going to be great to see my dude KTG step up and beat one of the best in the world, Tanahashi. had an impressive debut at Fight Zone Wrestling's Worldwide last week when he went one-on-one -on -one against Mojo Rowley. But tonight he's gonna have he's gonna have a lot on his plate now man because he's taking on a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, a legend in this business, a four-time IWGP heavyweight champ. Carter Ramirez must got he must got something against EK Fear. Either that 
or he really believes in him here tonight and believes he can get a win over Tenzan here tonight, man. Wait, Tenzan is also a woman member of the NWO as well. I was learning about Tenzan a little bit earlier, player. The name was spelled with an S, by the way. I own WCW spell Eddie with a Y too, though, so I'm not even gonna question. But anyways, point is, I was watching Tenzan versus the Macho Man in Crabble Match, man. Then later on, Ric Flair was going to win the world title in the main event, though, but it was in Crabble seeing Tenzan versus the Macho Man, so I learned a little bit about him, man. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens when EK Fear goes up against him, man. Right now in the opening moments of the match, it looks like Tin Sam got in full control of UK Fear right now. Oh, and then a knee to the back. That's got to hurt, man. I know that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt, man. That back is just all out. He put a knee right in it. God, I don't even want to think about the pain he's going through right now, man. And right now, he's trying to get control of this match. A clean break from UK Fear there. Trying to get control of the arm right now. Twisting in the arm right now. Oh, now he's got full control of the arm though. Now Tenzan's in trouble. Elbow to the arm. Oh, but Tenzan turns things around now. And the Fujiwara arm on the They put a knee right in the shoulder. A knee right to the shoulder of EK Fear. But EK Fear is able to roll out of Oh, my goodness, what a kick. He takes him down. He probably knocked his ass out. One. Oh, now he's going to be a one count. And before Tenzak can try to get back up to his feet, he grabs him real quick and takes control of him. Make sure he has him right where he needs him. It's a smart move here by E.K. Fear, man. I don't know, man. I kind of get a feeling that he's panicking right now. He needs to calm down, not panic so much, or else he's going to lose this match. Tenzak's going to take advantage of that, man. He's a veteran. E.K. Fear right now. I mean, he's, he's been all around promotions, became world champions and all that, but he's never been world champion in Fight Zone Wrestling. Right now, he has a lot to prove right now. He has to prove himself here in Fight Zone Wrestling. Can't take away the fact that E.K. Fear was SPW world champion for over two years. And his record's only beaten by Jaden V, who held the title for over three years. EK Fear going crazy all over that back of Tenzan. A little bit of, of a receipt right there. Going to try to put him away right now, though. Oh, Tenzan going to kick out real quick, though. Smart move there by Tenzan. Good work. And now EK Fear going to work on that neck real quick. Oh, player. Here we go. Ugh, nasty right hand. Right to the mouth of EK Fear. Signature move right here from Tenzan. And right now he's busting up them shoulders of UK Fear. The collarbones being worked on. And right now Tenzan should have been paying attention to the crowd right there. UK Fear took advantage of that. Oh, a backbreaker on UK Fear. EK Fear going real slow right now, man. He in a lot of pain right now. Tenzan takes him down with the neck breaker. Is Tenzan going for a hit? He might be looking for the end. Maybe not. EK Fear getting up to his feet. Another move that EK Fear is going to watch out, going to want to watch out for is that Anaconda Vice. A lot of people may know CM Punk made it famous in the States. As well as Mike Kanellis using it for a little while, calling it to go back to Japan. But Tenzan innovated at move. He gets it locked in on EK Fear tonight. It's pretty much the end of the match. Might be the end of the match right here. What is EK doing? Death Valley driver in the back of Tenzan's head just got busted open, probably. One. Kick out even before the three came, before the two, I mean. Yeah, he got it. He got to kick out early, man. In Japan, they don't waste time. 
Ready to kick out before even the one hits if they have to, man. Tinzan right now. Kicking EK Fit right his damn chest. Oh my god. EK Fit in a bit of trouble. Tinzan making some room right now for that Larry. EK Fit could be out of it. Oh no. Oh no. Tinzan going up. Looking for that headbutt. They misses. EK Fit. He rolls right out of the way. And a drop mm. kick right to Tinzan. Took the air out of his whole body right now. He was all like. <laughs> EK Fear with that star that is still not able to put he still not able to put Tinzan away, but Tinzan, he looking real tired. Right now that's what worries me, man. Oh wait a minute. Tinzan fighting back though. Tinzan putting in work here on EK Fear right now, man. Look at that, just a straight up form. Uh oh. Oh, God, you no, got a back fist. Got with an Aquaberry back fist on his face, playing he knocks him out. Underhook DDT. Tinzan looks to be out of it. EK Fear hooking the leg. One, two, three. EK Fear just oh, beat play. Tinzan. One of New Japan Pro Wrestling's biggest legs. And we got some boos from the crowd here in Green Bay, man. They can boo all they want. Still doesn't take away the fact that EK Fear just beat one of the best in the ring here tonight, man. And this is just his second match here in Fight Zone Wrestling. Carter Ramirez looks like he made a great job of signing EK Fear to Fight Zone Wrestling. Yeah, good job so far. EK Fear is just his second match. Go picks up the victory. Impressive victory, that is. EK Fear, though, man. How much longer can he keep this up? He's undefeated in fights on wrestling so far, 2-0. We'll see what happens next week if he can continue this streak against his next opponent. Congratulations to EK Fear. Wait a minute, that's, that's Melvin Thompson. I can tell from the tights and going to the authorities' room. That's where Dixie Carter and Carter Ramirez hold their discussions and business meetings Man, and all who that. who cares about Melvin Thompson? We're about to see Hiroshi Tanahashi take on KTG. We already got one FFCW. Now, New Japan Pro Wrestling about to take another L. Literally, Tanahashi going to take the L from KTG just like Garland did at Worldwide. KTG is the inaugural Fight Zone Wrestling Intercontinental Champion after XZW Worldwide when he defeated Garland for the title. And then one week later he defeats Tanahashi. We're about to see that in just a moment, man. What a career that KTG's already had just starting out here in Fight Zone Wrestling, man. Oh, that remains to be seen. We'll see if that can happen right now. So far, XZW won. New Japan Pro Wrestling, Zebra. See Tanahashi can get a win for Team New Japan Pro Wrestling. The IWGP Intercontinental Champion, Hiroshi Tanahashi.
the John Cena of Japan because of his success in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I disagree completely, all right? He is not on the level of John Cena. He's not even on the level of Roman Reigns. He's not even on the level of KTG here tonight, player. Hey, wait a oh, minute. Play, wait a minute. What the hell is KTG, KTG doing? KTG playing it smart. Wait a minute, playing it smart. He's got a steel chair. Oh my God, right across the back of Tana Hoss. What the hell is going on? KTG assaulted Tanahashi with the steel chairs. He's making his entrance, but thankfully Tanahashi is fighting back and kicking KTG's ass here Man, right KTG, on. man, all he was trying to do is welcome Tanahashi to America. And look at this, now he gonna use the steel chair, huh? What kind of pathetic? Man, Tanahashi over here trying to cheat, man. We're supposed to have a great match right now. He's risking getting himself this far What the hell is going well, on? Tanahashi needs to decide not to use the steel chair. He's not going to cheat like KTG's trying to. A devastated DDT by KTG on Tanahashi. And now KTG. Oh! The knees to the face of Tanahashi with the cold breaker to knock Tanahashi down. Knees all up in the face right now, man. Oh, boy, Tanahashi getting messed up now. Ugh, knee dropped right over the back of Tanahashi. Well, remember Tanahashi, he, he's got an uh, old back injury from when he was stabbed years ago. And right now, I think that's what KTG is focused on. That steel chair to the back of Tanahashi. And now, look at this, he's focused on the back with this camel clutch, leg crab maneuver. I don't know what the hell to call it, but he's messing up the back of Tanahashi. Tanahashi able to escape it though. But how, how much damage has KTG done to the back all the way from just that steel chair shot they took before the match even started? I'm gonna tell you, man, he took a lot of damage. And Tanahashi is a stupid idiot that's going along with the match still, continuing this match. He should have just Said, you know, he should have just called it quit. Said, forget about it. I can wrestle another day. But no, he wanted to go wrong with it. And that's that's just stupidity on his part, in my opinion. Uh-oh, here we go. Look at this. Bowling! Hell yeah, player. Well, the cover going to try to get three off of it. One, two. Tanahashi oh, kicks out. It's all good. He may have kicked that out. I'm telling you, man. He about to hit him with that L real quick right now. Here we go. Hey! Oh, what? Oh, player. No, no drop kicks for you tonight. Tanahashi oh, answers on, back man. with a form to the face of KTG. Look at this. Coastline takes down KTG. KTG just fell on the top of his head. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, he still was... kicked out. Of course he kicked out, man. He might not be kicking out of this, though. Tanahashi going up for the high fly. Fly! Oh, no! But KTG moved out of the way. He goes straight to the back again. A right hand from Tanahashi. KTG counters things. Look at that cross body. And a drop kick. KTG incredibly, uh, incredibly agile. So much speed behind him. Right to the face with those knees. To Tanahashi by KTG. And now Tanahashi. Gets a little taste of his own medicine, That's KTG, it. with the far splash. Come but a on, kick out man. from Tanahashi. Are you freak? Are you are you serious right now, player? Are you serious right now? Should have been the end of the match. <laughs> Tanahashi got real lucky right now, man. Real lucky. KTG gonna put an end to this very soon. Don't you worry about it. We focused in on that back right now. Look at that, man. Oh, oh. turn around, that knee to the face. Ugh. Now Tana's down. And then knee to the back again. KTG 
so focused on the back of Tanahashi right now in the ribs. And the referee right now telling him to back off. Tanahashi is seriously hurt right now, man. Tanahashi can't even get up. He's rolling around the ring trying to... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Oh, he lands on his feet, though. KTG. Oh, and a kick to the head of Tanahashi. That might be it right there. One. Only a one count. Tanahashi's up. Well, he's not up. He's still hurt. Oh, he needs to get up. Because KTG's focused on that back. Care, man. He don't God, care. man. He don't care right now, man. He's out to hurt him. He's out to injure him. So By any pain. means necessary. So much pain that Tanahashi has to be going through right now, man. And that was a good. Oh, play. Oh, no. I don't like KTG the look at this. Take the oh, oh, no. oh, play. KTG. He crashed the oh. burn. Come on, man, get up! And you gotta get up! Don't get up now! Look at no. the fly! Turn the horse! Move out of the way! Looking for the hard fly flow, possibly! Hard fly flow! Take down KTG! You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me right now, man! Come on, KTG! Toss the back in the ring! You need to get up right now and fight back! After all the damage you did to Tanahashi, you can't lose now! Tanahashi now! Oh, player! The swing blade! Now Tanahashi wants to steal Seth Rollins and Finn Balor's move. Up. You gotta be kidding me. Tanahashi, another high fly fly. Oh, come on, man. Hooks the leg. One, he can kick out two, his one. Watch. Three, you gotta Tanahashi oh, come did on, it. You gotta be freaking kidding me. And that is one for New Japan Pro Wrestling. One for Fight Zone Wrestling. Right, first of all, nobody even cares about Tanahashi. Nobody even knows who he is. Why right, player? Talking about he the John Cena New Japan. Nobody even knows who he is. Come on, player. This is some bull crap. KTG did that same move earlier, and he didn't even beat him with it. But all of a sudden, look at this. He had it. So clean, so smooth. And Tanahashi's going to beat him with the same move that he couldn't beat him with. How's that even possible? Because Tanahashi has better skill using it and better technique. He also knows the timing. KTG probably just used it a little bit too early. Tanahashi used a perfect time to use that high fly flow. Don't you go anywhere. Fight Zone Wrestling will be right back. Tag Team Champions, Nathan Smarter and Sharky Jr. Now something that's interesting about this is, uh, from what I've heard from Carter Ramirez is, he hasn't signed Sharky Jr. to a contract because he doesn't know his identity. And for him to, he basically signed the, the, he signed his papers as Scott Levy. I don't know who Scott Levy is, but Carter Ramirez says that that is not who that man is. So 
Carter the Miller is, from what I heard, isn't too pleased that Shaka Jr. and Nathan Smart are the tag team champions. Claiming that there's some kind of uh, legal issues that are keeping Nathan Smart and Shaka Jr. from being the tag team champions, unless he unmasks himself, he needs to reveal himself to show who he is. So I don't know what's going on, but that's between Carter Ramirez and Shark and Jr. I've said this before, man. I think that that's Raven. I think that that is Scotty. That is Scott Levy, in my opinion. But there are a lot of moves that I've never seen Scott Levy do. I, I mean, never seen Raven do, man. So could it be that this is, in fact, an imposter who wants us to believe that that's Raven? It could be, man. That could be the fact right there. It's not Raven. Who it is, I don't know. But Shaka Jr. is tag team champion. And there's nothing taking him away from him except for these two opponents. And Shaka Jr. and Nathan are going to be taking on. Is this a title match or not anyways? I don't even know. It's a non-title match. The tag team titles are not on the line. Shaka Jr. and Nathan Smarter taking on two New Japan Pro Wrestling legends right now. Shinsuke Nakamura is the first opponent. Making his Fight Zone Wrestling debut. Shinsuke Nakamura has finally arrived. Shinsuke Nakamura, a former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion and former IWGP Intercontinental Champion. He's also a former NXT Champion, being the first man to my knowledge to defeat Samoa Joe to become the champion. He was also defeated by Samoa Joe for the first time and Samoa Joe captured the title again. I believe Shinsuke Nakamura would beat Samoa Joe once more to regain that championship. Before being defeated by Bobby Roode, who is currently, at this time, NXT Champion. The Rainmaker coming. Okada making his way to the ring. The IWGP Heavyweight Champion. And he's teaming up with Shinsuke Nakamura. Team Chaos takes on Nathan Smarter and Shaka Jr. The current Fight Zone Tag Team Champions of the world. It's going to be real interesting to see what happens here. Real interesting. Hmm. <sighs> 
make it smarter, taking control of the arm of not more. In the beginning moments of this match, it's got full control, he's got full control right now. Nakamura turning things around for a little bit here. And Nathan Smart able to escape. They lock horns once more though. And oh, it looks like Nathan Smart is trying to go after their arm right now. It looks like that's the focus right now. He has him again though. Oh, or does he? Nakamura. Able to. A unique, a unique way to get out of that. <laughs> And now Nathan Smarter to the ropes. Under and over. Oh, and a hip toss by Nakamura. By uh, Nathan Smarter, excuse me, on Nakamura. That's nice that they're doing all this fancy stuff. Can we get to the fighting already? Smack him in to death. What the hell is Nathan doing? A unique individual Nathan Smarter is, as well as. Shinsuke Nakamura has him back to the rope, so is this going to be a clean break? It's like it is the king of, as they say in America, the king of swag style. Shinsuke Nakamura with the knee to the ribs and Nathan Smarter that kicks him around his damn head. And that is why they call him the king of strong style. Oh, slap across the face, and get a foot across the face as well. But Nathan Smarter, he's going to keep going, he's going to keep things going in his court right now. He's going to keep the ball in his court, it looks like. Can he kick out from Shinsuke Nakamura? Ah, uh, Platt went for a buff blockbuster and landed on his ass. That's what he gets from trying to beat Buff Bagwell. The hell out of here with that. Nice form by uh, Nathan Smarter. And a punch across the face. But point of the elbow met Nathan right at the top of the head right now. Just back and forth between Nathan and Shinsuke. Look at this off the ropes with a kick. One. Only a one count. Shinsuke Nakamura gets out of that quickly. Ugh, Nathan Smarter with a huge one. Oh, whammy. Ugh. Oh! oh! Good Sasha! Good Sasha from Shinsuke Nakamura! Hell, oh, man! Shaka Jr. able to break it up real quick. But I'm telling you right now, Nathan Smarter just got his lights knocked out, and that would have been in the match if it wasn't for Shaka Jr. Oh! to the head. Nathan Smart is not having a very good day right now, man. Look at this, Nathan Smart is trying to fight back. Oh, oh, he takes him down with the dark cut. Now Okada's coming in to break things up. Okada and, and Shaka Jr. are still 100% in this match too. Remember that. Nathan Small might want to pay attention to, uh, to his opponent, Nakamura, right now. Because if he don't, uh-oh, power bomb. But Nakamura not having any of that. He escapes it. Oh, but Nakamura, he gets swung over. By, oh, that, it's just going back and forth right now, man. Oh, play. Swinging over to his corner now. But Nakamura turns things around. He gets a L. Oh, he gets a knee right in his face. And now, now, nah, man, Nathan Smarter tosses the Shaka oh, Jr. Wow. towards Nakamura. Oh, play. And now, Shinsuke Nakamura is down, play. Yeah, he's down and in trouble right now. But it looks like Shaka Jr. is going to take advantage right now. Wait Shinsuke a minute. Nakamura. Oh, wait a minute. Okada, he tagged in real quick. Tags himself in. Now we got both men 100% in this match. Shaka Jr. and Okada, the Rainmaker. The IWGP Heavyweight Champion. The biggest star right now in Japan. He's trading forearms, elbows. I think those are elbows with Shaka Jr. A man that won the tag team titles thanks to his elbows at Worldwide. 
Look at this, man. Okada and, not, and Shaka Jr. just trading blows right now. Oh, wait a minute. Shoulder block did not take Okada down. And Okada's going to go to the corner for a little bit of his own. Both men standing their ground, however. Neither man are backing down. And wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, Shaka Jr. had a plan right there, but Okada saw what was coming. Quick thinking from Okada to stop him right in his tracks. And wait a minute. Shaka Jr. though, taking advantage right now of the referee. Holding him back. Ducks under. Arm drag takes down Okada. That elbow from Shaka Jr. And this is the man that you say that you think is Raven. He don't look nothing like Raven right now to me. Maybe he's a fan of Raven. But it doesn't look like he's raving right now to me, man. He may got a raving t-shirt on. He might be dressed a little bit like raving. But that ain't raving. If it is raving, damn. Props to raving. Oh, man. Get in back shape. at four. Incredible elbow, man. Just... Oh, oh, my God. I'm kind of should have been paying attention. One. Two. Shocker Jr. not able to put Okada away. Oh, and a kick to the spine of Okada. Now what? He, he seems to be focused on that leg now. Oh my God, and then he kicks Okada in the side of his head. Going back to the arm, and he, he bend it that way. You can break a finger like that, man. You can break a finger like that. Come on, man. Can't be doing this to Okada. He's trying to break his finger. Going back to the leg oh, with a figure four leg lock. Twist up, twist lock. up his legs like a pretzel, player. Now Okada about to be real salty, man. Or Shin, Shinsuke Nakamura gonna be real salty when Okada taps out. I'm telling you, man. Here come Nathan Smarter, just in case. Nakamura ain't coming in yet. He brought him in here. Nathan Smarter don't completely miss when he first came in. Had one eye going to the right, and his other eye just completely left. Oh my god. Okada over here. Okada, man. oh. Shaka Jr. rolled out of the way and he stopped the referee. That's all Okada's fault right now, man. That's all on Okada. Figure four leg lock time again. Okada's having trouble right now, man, with his legs. Shaka Jr. has been assaulting his legs throughout the whole match. Besides that, he's been elbowing him in his face. But right now, the legs look to be a problem for Okada. Okada, though, oh, no, he gets elbowed to his face. Never mind. I was about to say, Okada, about to do something big. He didn't do nothing, though, but get kicked in his chest. Oh, he got kicked in his chest twice that time. Another figure for that. Wait a minute. No, this is like a... What the hell is this? Like a reverse figure four now. Like an inverted figure four. Okada is still in trouble though. Nakamura stopped by Naked Smarter. Okada is in pain right now, dude. Yeah, I think we all see that right now, man. Okada able to escape with this powerbomb from Naked Smarter on Shinsuke Nakamura. And now Okada gets a boot to his face. Somehow, man, Shaka Jr. able to keep this match going. Okada kicking out real quick. And now here we go. Shaka Jr. trying to trying to slow things down. It looks like for Okada, trying to make him real tired right now. Get that stamina away from Okada. Make him real tired. Make him real sleazy. Real, 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 real sleepy. You know what I mean? Make sure he's real. Just, just real tired, basically. You couldn't need to sleep right now, Paul. Listen, man. Shaka Jr. is a professional right now. He's showing that. He's going up against the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. He's taking him to the limit. He's messing those knees up, man. And it's so smart. 
Shocker Jr. is such an in-ring technician. The guy is such a talented star. I don't know who this guy is, but damn, he might be the next IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Oh, maybe not. Oh, caught him with a boot to the face. And now Shocker Jr. is in a little bit of trouble, it looks like. Oh, never mind, he got kicked in his mouth. We saw it with Tanahashi's back, and now we're seeing it with Okada's legs. Oh, play. Come on, Shaka Jr., you can't be doing your dude like that. He's trying to make him tired again now. He's trying to make him sleepy like you were saying earlier, Derek. Yeah, he's got him locked up right now. The ribs being crushed, being squeezed together. Making it hard for Okada to breathe right now. Okada's got to make a tag to Nakamura sooner or later. So Nakamura can get in this match. But Okada, he's going to keep things going. Man. Try to keep going right now. From the looks of it. Okada, man. Still walking back and forth. How much damage did he do to those legs? Tombstone power driver from Okada. Oh, oh that leg gave out though. Or oh, oh, did it. He's having a hard time getting back up to his feet. I'm trying to pay attention to Okada's legs right now. How good are those legs right now, man? Where's Nakamura doing it? Wait a minute, Nathan Smarter. You better watch out. Kinsasha on Nathan Smarter. But look at Shaka Jr. He's got the legs. He's got the legs of Okada and the sharp got shooter. The legs tangled up. The sharp shooter is locked in. Shizuki Nakamura better Okada. come in right now. He's he gonna tap. Nakamura Look trying to come in. He's tapping. Nakamura stand out. The referee's ringing the bell. He's trying to tap out. The match is over. Shaka Jr. just made the RWGP Heavyweight Champion tap out. What was Nakamura doing? What the hell just happened? Nakamura didn't even come in to save Okada. Was that on purpose? And, I mean, I know the referee was telling him not to come in, but... I mean, it's not like you're going to get disqualified for just coming in the ring saving your partner, man. FCW, they don't got the same rules that the WWE has. You come in as many times as you want, but... But the referee stopped him that time. He warned him. He didn't come in and Okada tapped out. Shaka Jr. just beat the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, right? Oh, Kata just tapped out, and we got down footage. Look at the replay right here, man. Look at this. Nakamura didn't seem too concerned about Kata, and that's what I'm talking about right now. Look at this. He could have came in. He's going to listen to the referee while his own friend, so-called friend, his own buddy, is up here tapping out. I don't know, man. Don't go anywhere, because our main event is up next. Hypnosis returns. Wait a minute. What the hell is he doing here? That's... Oh my God, is, 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 is he the mystery partner of Hypnosis? You gotta be kidding me. Who else is the mystery partner? Well, who is it? Congratulations. Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation.
should have known, man. We're here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We got Miss Wilson. What the hell? What up? Shut up, Bethany. God, man, I, hate, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy at all, man. You don't like this guy. What is there not to like about this guy? Mr. Anderson is amazing. Oh, that's man. your opinion of the guy. I personally think he's a complete asshole. When the time is yours, the future's waiting. The person you become, the people you create. We haven't seen hypnosis in almost five months, and now he's back here at Fight Zone Wrestling to get revenge against Sheldon Mondo. What he needs to do is get some revenge against some bushwhackers and cut that damn musty ass beard off, man. Ugh, disgusting. I hate him. Hypnosis with a brand new look coming back to Fight Zone Wrestling. Nigga become Fight Zone Wrestling, World Wrestling Champion. Can he do it? First, he wants to earn his opportunity, so there's no excuses. All he has to do is get the pin in the match here tonight. Whoever gets the pin in this match gets a World Championship match against Sheldon Mondo. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait just a second! This man was supposed to be retired! Wait a minute, what's going on? Shibata! Shibata! What the hell is Shibata doing here? Alright, right. first of all, I don't know who the hell this guy is, but he's never gonna get over with name, name, being named after some... That was his name? Shibata? Come Shibata. on, man. Shibata! He's healed to Japan! He suffered concussion, he, had a, he, had, he literally had a fresh skull! And now he's back and he's here fights on wrestling! He's teaming up with Sheldon Mondo! How the hell did Sheldon Mondo get this one on? This is gonna be bad news for Mr. Anderson and Hypnosis, man. Shibata is literally gonna probably kick the well, what you said out of both of them. The world champion got one hell of a superstar to team up with him on this New Japan Pro Wrestling Special. So let's see what happens when Mr. Anderson teams up with Hypnosis to take on Sheldon Mondo, the world wrestling champion, and Shibata. The moment of truth. And there's the bell, here we go. Mr. Anderson and Shibata are gonna start things off. Oh, oh my what? god! He just got kicked in the back of his damn head. There we go. Another concussion. And Mr. Anderson is down and out. That's it. This might be all over. Oh, no. well, I, was I about thought to it was gonna say. be all over right there, man. I was about to say, man. So much for him knows he's in ring of time. He didn't even get a chance to even get tagged in, try to get tagged in. Anderson, oh! Shibata with these kicks, man. Yeah, Anderson is just taking a beating right now. Look at this. Shibata going in for a scoop slam. It looked like the Anderson he counters it and goes after the shoulder of Shibata and try to kick him. But that didn't work. Um, oh, 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 Mr. Anderson with the counter. Lance Von Shibata makes the tag hypnosis. I'm not sure if hypnosis wants to get in the ring with Shibata is, is returning right now, man. Oh, look at that, Shibata. 
Going after Hypnosis. Oh, he pulls down Anderson now. Make sure he don't do nothing funny. Hypnosis takes advantage. Taking out the leg of Shibata. Oh, my God. Hypnosis over the top rope. Flying through the sky to take down Shibata. He tried to go for a kick, but Shibata met him with one before he could. Or me, technically, but still, Shibata. Great work right there, man. Great work. And this ain't gonna be too good for Hypnosis right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, he is about to murder this boy right now, man. Hypnosis. Limits. What? He lined his chest up, bro. He lined his chest up. Bright red right now, bro. He's kicking him again. Damn. Shibata ain't scared. Oh my god. He's kicking his mouth. Oh my god! Oh. Hypnosis probably lost a tooth right now, man. Look at oh, the tooth. He probably lost a memory on that guy. out there, man. He just came back. He can't afford to have another injury, man. He can't he afford to have another injury. He wants that World Wrestling Championship more than anything. He gonna kick his damn head and watch it. He's gonna make sure oh, it doesn't no, happen. And that time Hypnosis moved out of the way, he almost got kicked in his face again. He kicked out quickly. Now Hypnosis. He needs to do the only thing he can do, and that's run. Oh, he missed. Oh, he now sets his back with his own kick. But that's not gonna be enough to keep him down. Oh, he tried to kick him, but Shibata rolled out of the way. Ah, oh, play. Shibata with a Scoop slam right there. A, a power slam. Just dropping Hypnosis down. He makes the tag to Sheldon Mondo. And now Sheldon Mondo and Hypnosis finally in the ring. Since whatever you said, the last five, three, they don't feel like five months. I'm, I feel like you're exaggerating on the point. But anyways, it's been a few months since we've seen Hypnosis. And now he's in the ring with Sheldon Mondo. Oh, player, press oh. black. Hypnosis is taking a lot of damage right now, man. Doesn't look too good for Hypnosis right now at this point. Whips him into the ropes. And a clothesline takes his head off. Tries to put a few kicks in there himself. And Hypnosis rolls him up. One, two. Kick out. And now Hypnosis gets the leg taken out. And look at Shelvin going straight after the arm right now. Doesn't look like he's got it. He hasn't really got enough on that arm though. He hasn't even got that arm. Oh, now he's got that hammerlock, but ain't gonna matter. He didn't have that leg, he didn't have that arm. Oh, he got a knee in his face! Oh, play! about to say, man, oh, it don't even matter now. He tried to knock down Sheldon Mondo, ran into a brick wall. Super kick missed. Uh-oh. And now Sheldon Mondo. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, oh what pressure play. from hypnosis. One. Only a one count. He needs to do more than that if he wants a world title shot against Sheldon Mondo. Neck breaker by Hypnosis. And that was a hangman's neck breaker too, man. He dropped him on his shoulder. Hypnosis goes up to the middle rope here. Cross body to take down Sheldon Mondo. Good move here. It looks like he's gonna go for a little bit more. Shibata trying to hit him off the, off the turnbuckle, but he already beat, he already leaped. But Sheldon moved out of way. Look at this, man. He's bragging and boasting, still battling this matchup. And no one's wow. taking advantage of that. He needs to stay focused right now. Oh, oh no, my God. Got, no, here we go. Oh, come on, man. Not gonna happen. That was Show the end of it. Sheldon looked for his tiger blood bomb and it didn't work. Hypnosis was able to counter. And like Hypnosis was getting ready to dive on the outside, too. Sheldon thought, well, he might as well get back in the ring. Oh, but that kick didn't work for Hypnosis right now. Oh, 
runs into a brick wall like you said earlier again. Went for that Polish hammer. Super kick missed. Oh, a jaw breaker from Hinosis. He went for a kick. It didn't work. He got a Polish hammer to the chest. Jay Lethal was able to escape that last week over and over oh, again. Look at this but this time. Mr. Anderson is known for having a big mouth here in the wrestling business. I'm just talking some mess right now to show the Mondo. Show the Mondo backing him up off the apron though. Or did he? Oh! Hung him up. Super kick by Hinosis. And this might be enough to push Show the Mondo away. One. Oh, two. Oh, yes. let's kick out the last very, very last second. The Check very out, last man. second. Nice work. Nice work on Sheldon Mondo's part. And now he escapes. Ah. Oh. I think that was my oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Close line by Sheldon Mondo. It's something that Sheldon Mondo hypnosis has. They have in common is nobody's been able to ever kick out of their moves. Nobody's been able to survive the VHS or that Tiger blood bomb. And now Mr. Anderson tags himself in the ring. The Sheldon Mondo goes straight after him with a right hand and a left. Like Mr. Anderson picked the wrong time to get in this ring right now to get in the match. Sheldon Mondo is taking care of him. Missed with the drop kicked off. And a clothesline takes him off his feet. Going for the cover, here we go. I don't think Hypnosis realizes that he's not the evil man in this match anymore. Going up to that middle rope with a oh, splash. I'm showing him on the way accidentally went. He accidentally knocked down Mr. Anderson. Yeah, that, was, that was no damn accident. Hypnosis meant to do that. He's selfish, player. He's selfish. Hypnosis didn't mean to do that. Right now, helping up Mr. Anderson, though. He doesn't realize he's not the legal man in this match. That's what the referee's telling him right now. Oh, no. Discus Larry. Mr. Anderson's a legal man. Face crusher. And now Mr. Anderson's in control of this match. What's Mr. Anderson going for here? Oh, is this going to be it? The Green Bay Plunge from Mr. Anderson takes down Sheldon Mondo. Can this be enough to pull him away? Ref! Oh, he's paying attention to Shabada right now. One, two. Hinosis wasn't able to save it. Shabada comes in and breaks it up, saves it for his team. Hinosis look real lost out there. And hypnosis is the one that made the run. Oh, oh play, I was about to say, it was about to end right now. I was gonna say, hypnosis is the idiot that made this match, but. Oh, play, here we go, one. Oh. Hypnosis, remember, man, he made it. Whoever gets the pin in this match gets a world title match. Mr. Anderson could win a world title match against Sheldon Mondo next week if he gets the pin in this match. I'm sure Hypnosis has talked to Mr. Anderson. Hope, hope, like you said, Mr. Anderson is pretty much an asshole. So even if Hypnosis talked to him about it, I wouldn't be surprised if Anderson got the pin himself. But the, the same goes for Shibata. If he, if he gets the pin, for won't he get a man? I guess we're about to find out who's loyal to their teammate the most right now. Mr. Anderson or Shibata? Who's getting a title man? If Sheldon Mondo gets, a, gets the pin, he won't even have to worry about it. That's what it comes down oh, to. Man. He's gonna get that title shot. He's gonna get that opportunity. Sheldon Mondo moves out of the way. And now Mr. Anderson. Look at this, going for a mic check of his own, but he calls his version the Muscle Beach Drop. Or he was going for the Muscle Beach Slam. I can't tell. Wait a minute, Shibata coming in, distracting Mr. Anderson, and Mr. Anderson with a right hand. Look at this, look at Sheldon Mondo though. Oh, play! No, that back drop is Mr. Anderson is able to counter that back suplex. 
And now he's looking out, for Mike checking. No, she's coming doing. on the steel chair. Remember, this is a. What the hell? Oh, oh, my God. God. What the what? hell? Wait a minute. What the hell is the nurses doing? Why he beat the hell out of Mr. Kennedy? That's what the hell he doing. What the hell is going on right now? But he's sleep. He's sleep right now, Wait Brad. a minute. Now, Siobhan Shabon coming in to stop him. No, I don't even think that matters. Show the oh, mama just got a two. What the oh, hell? Oh, play. Why the hell did hypnosis do that? Now Shogun Mondo doesn't even need to defend his damn title. He had a shot the world title. It's what about... The hell? What the hell is going on? It, it's, a, it's about damn time hypnosis saw the light right now, man. And he saw that Shogun Mondo is the franchise of Fight Zone Wrestling. I don't know why he did it, but he did it. And now Mr. Anderson took a loss in his debut in Fight Zone Wrestling in his own hometown, Mr. Anderson is nothing but a damn loser. Always has been, always will be. Nobody even remembers he was the TNA World Champion. That's one of the reasons they changed the name of the company, I heard, to get his stank off the title. Sorry, but shut the hell up right now. This is serious. Why the hell did Hypnosis turn his back on his old teammate? We were talking about with Master. What the hell? Hypnosis would have been the only person I thought they could have been trusted in this damn match. And he turned his back on Mr. Anderson. But why? I don't even know, man. Hey, listen up, man. Show the Mondo still the world champ. He ain't got to defend the time next week. That's all that matters. So thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And good night. You gotta be freaking kidding me right now, bro. Are you serious, man? Man, this is complete bullshit.